Yeah. A uh, warrant was issued on the 21st of August of uh, mm -hmm. 2017. Yeah. 21st day of August of 2017, where Jefferson County, state of Washington, is the plaintiff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you send notice of the arraignment to uh, 1023 Kitchen Dick Road? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a little different than a hearing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you would think that the arraignment has special significance versus a hearing. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. See, when it's an arraignment, you're going to accuse me of a crime. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, two crimes that happened on the same day that happened to violate two restraint provisions of a protection order. Yes. But you're going to send me notice of the court hearing to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Yes. Mm. Now, uh, this arraignment that took place where you transported me across county lines on the 19th day of September of 2017. Yes. Uh, the notice of the original court hearing was an arraignment, isn't that right? Yeah. But um, this was the actual arraignment. Yes. Mm. Now, obviously, it couldn't have been docketed. You didn't know when you were going to arrest me or transport me. No. No, no. And maybe Judge Landis had a little extra time that day where she was able to hear the case, and I appreciate that she took time to do that. Yes. Because any time you spend any time in jail... So you did decide that you were going to arraign me that day, and somebody from the Port Angeles Police Department communicated with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department? Yeah. So that I only had to spend four or five hours in jail that day? Yes. Mm -hmm. The problem is, um, was it a, a docketed arraignment, or was it docketed as a hearing? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to know what I had missed. Yes. Because it looks like I missed an arraignment. Yeah. But it was a hearing or an arraignment. Yes. No. Well, I know that you gave me notice, yes, of when I had to appear next. Yes, because it was November 1st of 2017. Mm -hmm. So was it considered an arraignment or a hearing? Yes. I was being arraigned and I asked you, where'd you send the notice? Well, what's the difference between a hearing and an arraignment? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, Mike was getting notices of all the court hearings. Yes. But he got notice of a, an arraignment, yes, from Jefferson County. Right where all of this had been falsified and he'd put his own address there. Yes. Now, there was no originating agency case number. No. Even though Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, Officer number 006A, Stanko. <coughs> you know, did you, as a Sheriff's Department, mm -hmm, intentionally want me to be convicted of two different charges? Yes. Of violating the two restraint provisions of a protection order. Yes. Because it says Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. It doesn't say the Brennan Police Department. No. Quilcene Police Department. No. <laughs> For Townsend Police Department. No. <laughs> it says the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> Did you intentionally... Oh, my God!